Hi, I'm Liam Kelly, and today we are sitting here in the warehouse. Every time you guys order a product, we have to send someone out, they have to pick it up off the shelves, then they bring it in on these carts back behind me, and they get brought up to these shelves right here. And at these shelves is where we pack all your packages into boxes and send them out via UPS. Right now, um, we track everything. We literally track a package from the minute it comes in our door. We know who picked it, we know what time they picked it, and then it comes here. And until today, we had no idea between here and there what was going on with it. So this was a black hole of information for us. So we decided to fix that. So we're picking this up at a little bit different of a phase in the build. We're actually at the prototyping stage and we have done a lot of R&D to get here. Lots of failures. What happened? It broke. Lots of learning. We're doing music. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. Okay. That one hurt. <laughs> we started with 3000 series, which we really didn't do enough research clearly like when we started. So we totally blew it on the first go around because we think our feed rate was way too slow. So it t the aluminum just totally grabbed the bit and just snapped it right at the base of the, the shank. We have a new bit. It's different. It's got one flute. We upped the speed of it and I, we're, we're going to try it again. We're just... We're seeing how it's gonna go. That was feeling really, really good. Me too. Like they're not great. Parts. I was like, oh, there's burrs, bummer. The whole process of machining aluminum on the machine, the, we've never done it before and this machine's never cut it before. So we were kind of in the dark on all of it. We jumped straight to an eighth inch bit is a lot more robust and it single flute and it could take you know all those chips away if there's like any serrated edges hell yeah Except some cnc aluminum for you it's so light it's crazy when he bends his parts he bends them by hand though mind blowing it just went dude Sick. I mean, there's a little bit of an issue. I don't know if you can see it, Kyle, but like you see how it kind of like bows out. That might be a bit of an issue, but I'm sure we can sort that out. So it's two of those. It's super light. Cool. Always oh, nothing. Yeah. Awesome. Quick dude. recovery. <laughs> yeah. Round two. <laughs> Made it happen. But when we started to bend it, it actually snapped. Ooh. Did it bend along your okay? Is it cracking? Yeah. Yeah. I did, I did see that, yes. So this is the um, uh, 0.09 uh, 5000 series. It works really well. So this go around, we're just gonna make sure we drop the bit way through the stock so we get the parts cut out perfectly. Especially that one. I'm a little nervous. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hi. <laughs> so now we pop these out. And we're going to try to bend them. Scary. Wow. Look at that. 
Can you see like up there? Holy crap, I thought I was gonna break the whole time. Being able to just like take it off the CNC and go straight to bending is really nice. Right. Well, I thought that snapped because I saw this line, but it's some random scratch. Yeah. You wanna see this thing? It's a box. I made it. I, I designed and made this by hand. He wow. built a software in the computer inside and I made it all Raspberry of these. Raspberry Pi? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see I know what's up. It's aluminum. The fact that it's kind of armored is a good thing. Yeah, that's the thing. We try to make it a little tank for it. Well, when I got hired here, the, the average is supposed to be like 13 orders an hour. I know I definitely do more than that. I just want to know how much more. I like to kind of compete with myself to know where I stand because there's always room for improvement. I take pride in what I do. So I wanted to know how much I was doing. So I asked John, the manager, if he could track it to figure out how much I was sending down, but he, there wasn't any way for him to do it. I mean, Consuela, do you want to stand? Let's bring this story full circle here. Here's our little training. Touch that, now scan the badge. Oh, there you go. Okay. And then you're back. Amazing. That's so slick. It'll help to keep everybody more at an even keel. It'll give accountability to what people aren't doing or in what they are doing. I want to know for myself because I, I like to improve what I'm doing. Well, everybody, that is a wrap. Consuela threw the package through, the software checked out, the box checked out, all is good. We got the thumbs up from everybody. Uh, I mean, there were a lot of firsts in this project for me. I learned how to run a CNC. I learned how to work in Fusion. I learned a ton. I hope you guys did too. I appreciate you guys following along and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, now I'm getting creeped out. They all look like small little fingernails. <laughs> <laughs>